Hi, I'm Simon. I'm the personal trainer here at JTX Fitness. And in today's video, I'm going to show you an advanced level workout using your JTX vibration plate. This workout is going to last for 17 and a half minutes and is broken down into three different sections. The advanced level workout is going to be set at high power and at Hertz 35 on your machine. The first section of the workout is going to consist of four different exercises. The first exercise is push-ups with knee tucks using the fitness ball. Second is scissors. Third is your ski sit using the ball and fourth star jumps. For push-ups with knee tucks using the exercise ball, first to get yourself into the push-up position with your hands shoulder width apart. The key here is to have your feet and ankles on top of the ball locking it into place. As you come up from the push-up, roll the ball using your knees in towards your chest and then extend back out again. For the scissors, lie on a vibration plate, have your hands slightly underneath your bottom, put your legs straight out in front of you and then you're going to raise one leg at a time in towards your chest and back down again. The tip for this exercise is to keep a nice smooth rhythm when you're alternating legs. To ski sit with ball, you want to position yourself in a normal squat position, place the exercise ball in between your knees with your legs as close to 90 degrees as you possibly can and really push your knees together. Adding in the exercise ball enhances the muscles that you're using in the squat position. Star jumps for 45 seconds, a great way to loosen off the muscles and add the cardio element into this workout. After completing the four exercises, please rest for 45 seconds. Section two also consists of four different exercises, each lasting 45 seconds. Push-ups with tiptoes on the ball is a great way to work your core muscles as well as your upper body. Put your hands shoulder width apart, place your feet together on tiptoes onto the ball, and by using your core strength, try and keep the ball as balanced as possible. Leg raises with ball is another great ab exercise that you can do on the vibration plate. Again, the tip here is to lie flat on the machine with your hands slightly underneath your bottom. This time you want to position the ball in between your legs. This adds difficulty to the exercise because the ball acts as a weight as well as you having to use your leg muscles to keep the ball nicely gripped in between your legs. Jumping squats. This is an absolute killer for those legs in this exercise. It's fairly simple. Pushing off with both legs, jump, land on the vibration plate and squat immediately. As you rise up from the squat, you want to jump back off onto the floor and again, as you land, you go straight down into squat position and repeat. Another set of star jumps will definitely be needed after those squats and try and keep up with that high repetition level. Again, rest for 45 seconds and then repeat section one and section two again. Section three ends the workout with two one minute exercises. The first exercise is plank extensions. The second exercise is the plank. Plank extensions. Get yourself into the normal push-up position, your hands shoulder width apart, feet directly behind you. Lift your left leg parallel to your hips with your right arm parallel to your shoulders. Then switch over so your right leg comes up and your left leg comes up. This really stretches out all your core muscles and develops strength in your upper body. Between the two plank exercises, have a 30 second rest. The final exercise of this workout is the plank. This is going to last for one minute, so it'll be a nice tough way to finish this workout working all the muscle groups in your body. The tip here is to keep your body in a straight line as possible, making sure that bum is up in the air. Good luck with this advanced level vibration workout. Please visit jtxfitness.com for more videos and our full range of home gym equipment.